traders everywhere today we are diving into the economic indicators page on TradingView, which is your way to see all of the indicators available to you as a member of TradingView on one beautiful page in addition you get some very easy to use sorting options labor prices health money trade government and so on as well as the ability to click this search icon and to see a great economic indicators menu, once again, organized by specific topics, and then giving you the ability to dive into those indicators a little bit deeper by going through the list and the topic of your choice. Of course, also don't forget that if there's an economic indicator that comes to mind, type it into the search box. For example, if we want to look at money supply, we type in money and you'll see the list of indicators available to you right here as well. Now, there's a few very important things to say about this page and why it is so important. Okay, let's just talk about quickly what indicators are in the context of the global economy. Economic indicators are your way to measure the health of any country that you're interested in. Now, this might be particularly important to Forex traders or Forex investors, but if you are any kind of investor, you might want to first go investigate how the economy of a specific country is doing before you go deploy capital there. Now, as an example, GDP is selected by default and GDP stands for gross domestic product. Now we have GDP selected by default, but that means you immediately know that all of these indicators here are in some way connected or very closely related to all of the goods and services a single country can produce and a representation of all of the work, jobs, and production going on in that specific country. So if we have GDP selected and we're interested in just seeing which countries produce the most goods and services, we can click GDP, give it a second, and just like that, we have this beautiful chart now right in front of us. Now, we can do this for any of the economic indicators available to us. Now, you may not know what all of these indicators are, but the best way to learn them is to get started. And as a brief overview, keep your eyes really closely locked on these specific topics, because that's how you know that these economic indicators immediately apply to these topics. So for example, labor. Well, labor is another way of saying work. So all of the economic indicators under labor give you the ability to study different data points about work in a specific country. This is really interesting to see, specifically if you want to see which countries have the best or worst or just growing or improving job markets. Now, this is the un unemployment rate, rate, which is often a popular measure in economics to track which countries are employing the most people or have the least amount of people unemployed. If I click unemployment rate in this video demonstration, you can see here we've got all of these countries now listed and their unemployment rates. Now, what's really important about this feature now is to know that you want to then scroll down the page because you have some additional, very effective and efficient sorting options to go deeper into any of these economic indicators, which I'm now going to explain to you. Now, by default, you have G20 selected. Quick tip, G20 it's essentially 20 countries, they're large, they're well known, just put into one basket. But you don't have to look at G20 countries. You can scroll up and go to world, North America, Europe, the choice is ultimately yours. Click the region of the world that you're interested in. So I'm gonna to go to G20 and show you now how this chart works. This is a very effective way to build quick visuals of any of the economic indicators that I have been showing you. So I've unchecked all of these boxes. Now what you'll see here is that this chart is now empty. So the key thing to know here is that this box here is how you can how you can construct a chart with the data you're interested in. So I'm going to click Europe and now I'm going to click Spain. Check this out. Now we have the unemployment rate for Spain. I'm going to go down and I am going to now next click France here. There's France. Now I have France and 
Spain's unemployment rates. I'm also going to click all, meaning I want to see all of the data for these two countries. Now that is rather interesting. Going back to 1976, all the way to 2024, soon to be 2025, all of this data is right here in front of me for these two countries. But keep in mind, it gets even better than this, because as you scroll through these specific countries, you can add more countries as needed. I just added Germany with a check and Italy with a check. And now I have built this unemployment rate chart with both of those countries in mind. You even see the data for Germany extends further back to the 50s. This will often happen depending on when a country began reporting such data. So this is super important stuff to know as you get started with this tool. Now, before I move on, I do want to remind you to really pay attention to these specific tables that you have. I'm going to walk you through these tables so you know how to read them and use them. The first thing you'll see is the specific country. Keep in mind, economic indicators is about, is about countries. So here's where you can find all of the countries in these specific data points. Next up is last. Last means the most recently reported data point. Then there's previous. That is the data point that was reported before the most recent. This way you can very quickly compare the most recent data points. Did it grow, shrink, expand, or stay the same since the two most recent data points? You can see the observation. The data came in on Q3 2024. We know it's coming in percent. It's, a, it's an unemployment rate. These are percents. So you can read them as percents. This unit is really going to help you understand what you're looking at because oftentimes you may not know, is this a, is this a, a raw nominal number or is it a percent or is it something else? It's all right here. Frequency, you know, it's reported quarterly. Now keep in mind, some countries do it differently. You can see here, Sweden does it monthly. Latvia does it quarterly. So pay attention to these key details to get an understanding of how the countries also differ in these releases. Then you have the next release. You can plan ahead, January 2025. You can even take this information directly to the economic calendar right here off to the right. Now you can get started. You know what to look for. You've done your high level research. Now add in the economic calendar to plan ahead and actually read into when that data is coming. Then, of course, there's a forecast. If that data is available, it will show there. Now I'm going to go back to the indicators page because there's a little bit more that I want to tell you about that's quite important. First of all, if you don't know what some of these indicators are, once again, as mentioned, make sure you either use this search button here to go through the specific topics and then utilize the topics to understand what it is that you're looking at. So for example, if I go to housing and I see average house prices, well, that sounds sort of just what it is. It's the average house price in a country, and it has to do with housing. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, give it a second to load. And now I've got Australia, United States, and the UK right here in their average house prices. I can click all, and I can see that since the data really started to come in. Now, what's really interesting now is that you can go deeper into this data because now I want to draw your attention to the symbol icons next to these specific pieces of economic data. You can see here it says USA HP. It lights up blue whenever I hover my mouse over it. That means it's clickable. I can click into it. So I'm going to click this button and show you what happens next. I'm going to click this right now. Now that the page has loaded, you'll see here I'm looking at the United States average house prices. And this is a symbol page now dedicated to this specific economic indicator. So now you're going a step further. You have utilized the economic indicator page on TradingView right here, all indicators, to find the data point you want. You surfed the entire world. You went through all of these important topics, and now you landed on the symbol page for an, an economic indicator to go deeper. So here you can see where the data is coming from, the country it's related to with the flag, the last value. And if you scroll down, you're going to get this really great chart here as well. 10 years, all time. You can change the visual of this chart. 
take a snapshot of it if you wish to share it. You can even go to a full chart as well if you want to see it on a large super chart, which I'm going to get to. But I first want to scroll down just to remind you that you're going to get more information the further and further you scroll down. And as you go, you'll even see related indicators, which is a rather helpful tool for looking for indicators that might be similar to what it is you want to look into. Now, keep in mind, if you found yourself analyzing housing, well, of all the economic indicators available to you on TradingView, why not go a step further and now look at the 30-year mortgage rate? So we can see what the 30-year mortgage rate is to buy a home. And now we can scroll down and once again, get similar data points and insights and social ideas from users, especially this aspect, which can be rather helpful here, which is the about section. Once again, if you don't know something about a specific indicator, if you do your work on TradingView, you will eventually find an explanation to allow you to go deeper into that indicator. So this is all about the United States 30-year mortgage, we can read this paragraph here and walk away with a really nice understanding. Now, I'm going to go a step further here because the whole point of this video is to take you from the economic indicators page on TradingView into the symbol page for the indicator you care about. And now let's go a step further and view it on the super charts that you love. The dynamic, fast, and robust super charts. That's right. I'm going to click this button to chart the United States 30-year mortgage rate just in all the ways you know and love. Now, after I have clicked the See on Supercharts button, I am now looking at the United States 30-year mortgage rate right here on my chart. That's right, I can now chart this in many different ways than I'm used to. For example, if I double-click this line, I can change the color, look, and feel of this line, including turning this line into a gradient of my choosing if I want to make a very custom looking chart. So just like that, I've now changed the line color. I could change the background color, as you know. I could even change the look and feel of the chart if that does allow me to do it on the economic indicator. Now, keep in mind, your time frame might be a little bit sort of uh, constricted depending on the indicator you're looking at. For example, this 30-year mortgage rate indicator, the, the, the only available option I have to go as zoomed in as possible is a week. I can't do a day. I can't do five days because of the way the data is reported. It's not reported daily. So if it's not reported daily, there's no way I can see the data daily. But if I click weekly or monthly, I can see that data accordingly. So this is your broad overview to the economic indicators page on TradingView. And to wrap up this video, I think it's imperative that we very quickly go back to the economic indicators page and really have one more final look at this page and its importance to your process. So let's say you are an investor and you want to learn more about a country. You hover your mouse over markets, you go to economy, and you have all of these economic tools, data, and insights available to you. Also, the news as well related to economic news. And by now, you are learning how to use all of these tools by putting to work our help center, even watching some of the videos we have re recorded about all of these other topics, including global trends. But this video is all about the indicators that are right here and for you. Now, what's key here is it's a really nice way to see just how much you have access to as a member of TradingView. That's number one. You should really take advantage of some of these important data points so that you really have a feel for what a country is doing, how it's performing. And really, you might find some insights that maybe no one else has found before by going through this data. In addition, you can utilize this as a learning tool to learn about all of these economic data points. And finally, the key thing here is that now you know how to click into a specific economic data point, see the chart, construct your own chart by utilizing these boxes here to add each economic indicator to the chart above here, changing the time frame, going through the different countries that you're interested in, whether it's a global selection or perhaps just Europe or the G20. And now 
After you've done that, diving in by clicking into the specific symbol and also reading the data points here in the table. So ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this video. And in the description below, you will see that we have included a link to the All Indicators page. Go grab this link. You're going to want to get started on it. If anything, you're going to learn something new, not only about the data that comes with your plan, but also something new about all of the economic indicators out there. So thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Much more is on the way.